Welcome back to Fast Gadgets. As you know, I'm an advocate for privacy and I always find interest in articles that talk about some of the privacy issues we found we find with different applications and technology devices that are out there. A recent article showed that an alarming number of applications, 234 now, are actually using built-in ultrasonic beacons to track users and what's really freaky about this particular technology is that these beacons can be used to bounce back and forth between other Android devices or systems and basically pinpoint who you are and then link profiles from say two different devices to further be able to track you. I do have a couple of smart TVs here and I've always been kind of freaked about smart TVs. Now I purchased a Sony Bravia 49 inch 4K TV and ironically this TV does not ship with a microphone and I have opted not to plug a microphone into it. I think you can guess why. You know that Android devices and I'm sure iPhone and I'm sure at these days Windows 10 devices are quite capable of turning on the microphone and listening. If you have Alexa or any of those other home devices, they also listen. And they can also emit sounds that you can't necessarily hear that other devices could hear. So even if you are supposedly anonymous, maybe you're not anonymous on your phone because you're logged in. So if you happen to be somewhere and you hear a television ad, it's possible that your device could squeal on you if it receives an ultrasonic signal. It could link it with that advertiser using that particular app. Now this particular article did not say which of the 234 applications in the Android store were using the ultrasonic cross device tracking now called UXDT but I'm sure we can find that list and have a look at it and it might be worth looking at and I would not be surprised if many of the major uh, players out there are actually using this technology. The authors did point out that they did not find any commercials on TVs yet that were emitting the ultrasonic frequencies that would trigger the applications but they said that based on that research that they've done that doesn't mean that it's not happening it's just that they didn't find any and the reason they think it, it probably is happening is because when they look in April 2015 there were only six Android apps that actually had UXDT enabled and today there are now 234 so this might be the latest rage on tracking and linking more importantly different profiles so uh, I am logged in on my TV for example you know into my Google account and it's conceivable that the application in Google could give out an ultra high frequency sound and the sound could be received by my phone or some other device. It's not necessarily limited to just smartphones. It also could include microphones and laptops, desktops, tablets, smartphones. Now all the major manufacturers of technology, computer-based technology now, if you consider Apple and Microsoft, uh, and Android basically are now offering uh, stores that have applications so it would be something the application developer would put in and you wouldn't necessarily know about it. It could be used to collect some significant information about you and link profiles with your different devices possibly even include more information about where you are when you are and why. Very interesting article if you get a chance drop by and have a look let me know what your opinion in a, is on this. It, it, to me, it's um, concerning. The authors do say that it's somewhat of an issue now, and they see it as a very large issue in the future. So it is something that we're going to have to keep an eye on. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment. If you really enjoyed it, share the video. If you would like, you can also drop me a dollar and buy me a cup of coffee on Patreon.com. And I would like to thank Andrew Webster, my latest patron on Patreon, for giving me that dollar. I'm going to go get that cup of coffee right now. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets. <music>